I don't think you can skip steps. So I think you yeah. have to go to the point where it's David's prayer of um, examine my heart, search me and know me and see if there's any wickedness in me. Like, and I wasn't quite willing to do that. Uh, I had been being tapped on the shoulder for quite a while about vanity. We were living in LA. My husband was in the film industry and it just seemed normal to me. Me yeah. having to get the baby weight off and me having to look a certain, that's just normal. Um, and as it, as it turns out, God, God did not accept it the way that I had. And, um, and it's honestly, truth is, uh, created a few embarrassing moments for me. Uh, <laughs> I'll just tell you briefly, I I've do. been ignoring yeah. him about vanity. I didn't want to talk about it. He'd been tapping me on the shoulder. I was like, yeah, after I lose the weight, right. Yeah. After I, after I, whatever hit, whatever benchmark. Right. And I was in a parking lot at the kids preschool and I was having a conversation. I talk with my hands a lot. I was having a conversation with a really cute LA mom and she was so cute and she was so little and she was so well-dressed and she was all the things. We had this whole conversation and I was talking and I was saying something and anyway, get in my car when I'm done. And I put my hands on the steering wheel and like in my peripheral vision, I can see the biggest sweat pit of, my li of anyone's <laughs> life. It just was like unmissable. Right. And only one side. Yeah. Whatever. And okay. I was like, <gasps> And God just broke into the moment and he said, you can ignore me or you can get on board, but the mask is coming off. Wow. And so I, I think I was like, yeah, okay. To avoid future humiliations, I will, I will pay attention. Right. And that kind of started me down this road of going, okay, Lord, search me and know me and yeah. show me yeah. and see what wicked ways are in me. Yeah. 